Hey guys, this is Taylor Gibson, and I'm here with Melissa Darrison. Hey. And we're going to be talking about behind-the-scenes footage for the upcoming film, The Fall of the Roses. We're at the very end of post-production, and once we have that finished, we want to put it in a uh, film festival. And before we get into it, I want to explain what The Fall of the Roses is about. Without giving any spoilers, it's about two lovers. Um, they're a lesbian couple. Their names are Molly, Sue, and Silvasha. This is the first ever film about Odyssey of Fire. It features Odyssey of Fire characters set in an Odyssey of Fire story. I took an idea that I had before about I want oh I wanted a couple to have a tragic romance story. So without further ado, let's jump right in and see some behind the scenes. So this is our first image. Lillian, she was a PA on set. She was cutting these folders, like these translucent folders. We had orange and yellow ones. And what the, what we were doing that for is to put them over the lights because we didn't have gels. Yeah, that's really cool that you guys were able to find like a cheap DIY way of having gels. And for our next image, this is Jacob. He was our sound guy on set. And he did um, the assembly cut of the film and some of the early sound design and post-production. So where did you guys film this? There's uh, Lily and uh, Ryan. <laughs> Ryan was, um, I believe Ryan, I forget what Ryan was doing at first, but he, he um, stepped up to be first AD um, in the end because I think our first AD had to go somewhere. So he, yeah, he did an excellent job at first AD. This was, um, I think we were setting up and trying to figure out the opening shot, which is a, um, a shot where the camera is out, starts outside, and it slowly uh, dollies into the the room and comes around behind Krista and like looks at all three of them. And here we've got um, me talking to uh, Nicole and Duncan, and as you can see, there's a lot of picture or papers on the wall. Of like calligraphy and stuff yeah did you who did those did you guys do those i i did all of them oh that's awesome yeah i um that was actually the night before i was like um i just really wanted to i thought about it and like there's got to be something on the walls otherwise it's it's gonna look too um plain yeah so i i really I, I just sat there and started making scribbling lines and making it look like calligraphy and did some a few little cartoons and pictures on them. And what this is meant to represent, what this is meant to um, show is that this is like a shack, this is like their shack, this is like their planning room or just their 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 meditation room. Um, right. And if they feel like they need to express something, they write it down or draw something, anything at all, they just post it on the wall. It's like, and then for all of them to like look at and read. And to like later discuss. Yeah, and that's, that's something I want to introduce in the, um, I'm thinking like the second book, the uh, the flame. This take this whole scene, this whole uh, film, short film takes place during the 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 ember, the part two of the ember, and which is like which in the TV series would be like the uh, the fourth season, fourth or fifth season, mm. and yeah, and it's. They're, anything they, they they feel like they're, they need to express themselves about something, they just write it down and tape it to the wall. 
So what was your motivation behind choosing this particular story part of Odyssey of Fire and not starting, like, say, from the beginning? Um, it was just um, what I felt I could do without mm -hmm. to without having to do a lot of exposition. Um, mm -hmm. Right. Because in the beginning, there's got to be a lot of exposition to explain stuff. And of course, because there's a lot of lore. Yeah. Plus, it starts. You know, it all it all comes down to locations and what we can do, what what sets we can make on such a low budget too. Right. Because the the place that Sui comes from is a uh, is like a big valley, like town Sui and molly sue come from there and george met them there and it's this big valley it's like small town in a valley and um we don't really have any valleys or mountains and in, in florida so <laughs> yep pretty pretty much yeah. at sea level here <laughs> yeah so like that's something that's got to be done on high budget kind of yeah the way that they did made hobbiton and um and right. Ranks is what I'm trying to, what I want to do. Uh, but yeah, and, and also, you know, this shack, it was just a bedroom that we just, the, the idea is that this is just one, it's just a one room shack. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, that's what I want people to believe. Um, or even if they, you know, even if they don't see that, you know, it's it's just this confined space, you know, and it's easy to film that and get away with it without having this, you know, build a giant set because we, we yeah absolutely, or try to hassle with a green screen or anything like that. Right, and then there's also the um, the. Uh, the forest scene whenever you actually see Molly Sue with her her lover Silvasha, um, they um, that that was in the forest. We did we took like a nature park place and and uh, filmed there. Yeah, there. <laughs> we're uh, I think we're getting ready to start filming here. We're actually filming here almost. Um, and yeah they're just hanging out getting ready uh gaffer and boom operator and there's adam there's me there's krista making a funny face <laughs> this picture on the wall behind her is of Silvasha. and what i did to actually make that picture is i i took a um a prof I think it was uh, my fr the the actress who plays her. It was her profile picture on Facebook, and I just copied the the same pose and everything, and made her pink and with darker hair and um the the ears and stuff. This next image, all you can see Jessica, our script supervisor. That's Shannon over here. Um, she's she wasn't in this scene, uh, but the, you know this is her house and all that. This is her bedroom, so she she was there to help any way she could. And she, what she, we had her doing as um, because we didn't have the the all the lines for the for the for the radio. Uh, she would basically read the script the lines on the radio and that way that the actors had a way to react to what was being said yeah and we just uh we just didn't use any audio for for those shots because they weren't really saying anything anyway right um so they were just listening so yeah that was that was fun here, oh yeah, by the way, look at our slate. Our slate. <laughs> Is that a whiteboard? Yeah. <laughs> and what we awesome. did for sound, what we did for sound is we clapped. Uh, that's great. <laughs> oh, this is through the window. Ooh, through the window. 
Yeah, the, the window was shut at this point. Um, but yeah, it's through the window. Um, All the crew hanging. Yeah, it looks like a paranormal photo or something. Yeah, it does. There's Krista. Yeah, her hair actually looks pretty reminiscent of the drawing that you had in the podcast. Yeah, it's, um, but actually her hair, um, we tried to make it a little bit better, like with the, with the colors, like it was a little too blonde for, for what I wanted. But the reason why it didn't turn out so well, as well as I wanted it, is just because of the, uh, we were using real dye and this is a wig, so. Yeah, I I definitely think though that you can still see the red undertones and like the, yeah, the color grade is gonna help even more because everybody's gonna kind of glow orangey. So oh yeah, the color that'll help even help. more. So and you can see it's eight forty five or eight forty six. <laughs> Look at that cool timestamp. <laughs> oh, and you can see uh. Uh, Molly Sue up here and down there. She's like looking down. And the painting in the background. Yeah. There's me and the two actors. Yeah. Sue and George. Nice group shot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's us. That's Sunsuri, the producer, but she also, she does a whole bunch of stuff. She, she does craft services. She does prop making, all sorts of stuff. She'll be an extra at some points and she's great. Hair and makeup too, right? Yeah. Yeah. She does hair and makeup, all sorts of stuff. And I, Jack of all trades. I think she does costume too. And she, yeah, she is great. She does all sorts of stuff. Ooh, crafty. Yeah, this was the first, like, the morning whenever we got out to film in the in the forest. And you can see uh, Krista and Shannon are getting into their costumes. And uh, I, I had made uh, biscuits, like cheese biscuits, the mm. night before, and... Um, brought them all on set for the, for people to eat for, for breakfast and we also had a bunch of other stuff we had like coffee i oh yeah i brewed what i did is i brewed all that coffee and then i put it in the fridge hey that's great that whole uh big huge jug of it yeah yeah the this is um you know jacob is talking with Krista and, and Sunsuri and Shannon. And, um, it's like they're getting ready to do uh, makeup. Sunsuri is about yeah. to put on Shannon's makeup. See, so she's make... Oh, yeah, so uh, one thing is um, uh, we tried to put the makeup on her hands, but it rubbed off after a time. So one thing we're going to do in post-production is make her fingers and hands more pink. Ooh, getting her ears on. Yep. We got the the elven ears. Krista got to join and help her out. <laughs> oh. Oh, and there's all it's almost done. Her. Yeah. It looks really good, and she really does look like um, the drawing. Like it, it came out really, really cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with it. Reading the scripts. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Got a fan out. A Got little a, this kind of electric fan. fan. <laughs> <laughs> Here you can see them bonding. You know, they yeah. had to, you know, as, as lovers, they had to like get kind of intimate, you know, and right. that intimacy that they had to, to show on screen. So they would. Uh, practice and like talk to each other like real sweetly and stuff. Yes, I like this picture. Yeah, that's cute. 
and you can see she's in they're both in full costume yeah, i, I was really gonna say the costumes are really cool that was the shot where they're lying on the ground and they have, they're using the cape as like a blanket so the, the, they're not getting dirty yep and that's that's all the um the images for the fall of the roses behind the scenes I can show you guys a sneak peek. I think I'm just going to show this clip. This is unedited. You know, there's no motion tracking to it or anything. This is the first, this is the opening window shot, just so you can get an idea for what it look kind of looks like. It's a lot smoother than this because we motion tracked it in post. Mm -hmm. But here we go. That's that's the opening shot. No, well, it's really it's really cool to kind of see these behind the scenes looks. I really enjoy that aspect of filmmaking. It's getting to see kind of how everything was done. Yeah, that's our uh, that's our behind the scenes episode for today. Next time, um, we'll go over another one of my older films, possibly, or maybe maybe another a newer one like Game of Revelation. Yeah, well, well, you'll be able to see where our, most of the clips from the channel trailer came from and um, kind of get a better idea of the work that, you know, you've put out so far and are kind of planning to put out. Thank you all for watching this, and I hope you, en you enjoy the future episodes. I hope you enjoyed this one, and... So uh, one thing I wanted to tell you guys is that there, if you go on to Patreon, I'll put a link in the description of this video. Um, there's there's uh, going to be content on there that you won't get on regular, just regular, the regular YouTube channel. You can see some of my short films that I that I'm wanting to monetize. I like the philosophy, like you know. If you can get a dollar from a hundred people, you have a hundred dollars. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I know times are tough right now, and you know, just you watching yeah. and supporting is really helpful. And obviously, you know, there will still be content available for free. Like, right, we're oh, gonna wow. still be putting out, you know, YouTube videos, and we'll even be releasing some of the films for free so don't worry you will still get to see you know the things we've been talking about but um you know if you can it'll be a kind of a fun incentive to see a little bit more if you want to and yeah i think yeah, it's a great I, way to kind know. of feel like you're you're kind of making a direct contribution to you know a fan base in a sense to yeah, it is I don't grow a grow a community. Yeah, it's just something you know. If you don't have the money, you know, you know, we understand. So, but yeah, we we'll, we look forward to having you guys and um, keep keep subscribing, keep liking the videos. You know, even if you can't donate, you know. Yeah, and and definitely comment. We'll read all of them and oh yeah we'd love to to hear from you guys and hear uh what you guys think of what we've been putting out and if you have any you know suggestions or if there's more that you'd want to see let us know and we'll uh we'll work on that as well awesome yeah all right that's it yeah thank you for watching Thanks everyone for watching. stay safe for the fan core for the fan core. <laughs>